we're going to talk about irregular verbs in the preterite tense. Remember, preterite tense tells us that an action happened, that it started and stopped in the past. All of these irregular preterite tense or past tense verbs have to be memorized because they're just so different than their original forms. For example, dar. In the yo form, it's d. And in the tu form, it's diste. Elenea is dio. Nosotros es dimos. El, ellos, ellas, ustedes es dieron. Again, I can't stress enough how irregular preterite tense verbs have to be memorized. So here are some preterite tense verbs that have roots, different roots and common endings. So pause this video now and make yourself some flashcards. The endings are a, iste, o, imos, ieron. Yo, tu, el, ella, nosotros, nosotras, and ellos, ellas, ustedes. All of these go with the roots. So if you wanted to say, I used to make, you would say, ise. And if you wanted to say, you wanted to, it would be, quisiste. Uh, they were over there. They were estuvieron. And I used to have, or we used to have, excuse me, tuvimos. The point is to memorize these verbs with their verb endings in the preterite tense. Again, here are some more irregular preterite verbs with common endings. They're a little different. Desir is di. So, D-I-J, traer, the root is uh, tra, and then traducir, the to translate is tradu. So, if you wanted to say, I translated, it would be traduje. And if you wanted to say, you said that, tu dijiste. Traer, we brought, traimos una torta. The kid said, dijo. But here's where it's a little different than the last set of irregular verbs. We don't use ieron with these verbs, okay? We use eron. So if you wanted to say the students translated, los estudiantes tradujeron. If mis abuelos, my grandparents, brought something, then it was trajeron. And if they said, dijeron. There's the differences. If you have any questions or comments about this video, you can message me on Twitter at Senor Denim, or you can message me below.